Hello guys, welcome to TMX Adventures. Lisa here. I am currently in the middle of cooking the cover, uh, which I'm going to bring to you soon, but there is an issue with cookie do. It is Sunday the 20th of October and everyone is getting a connection error. Have a look at my screen. It says connection error. Uh, if you try and search for your week, you'll notice bum bum doesn't work. Okay, we can get around that. So just come with me now. It's going to be really quick. This is completely impromptu. It is Sunday. I don't really film on Sundays. So all come live. Say hi if you're watching on today. I'd love to know if you're making something in your Thermomix. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, uh, probably this evening, if I can get a chance to get this up to you guys, uh, make sure you subscribe and share these videos with friends and family who have a Thermomix on the bench because when things like this happen, which is so incredibly rare, but I want you to know the answer, okay? And I want you to be confident in that answer. So... There's a connection error and we can't get to the dynamic stuff of cookie do. What does that mean? It means that anything that's a moving part, we can't get to. So the moving part being my week. Um, if we have a look into bookmarks, they're there. Did you know that? Hello, and thanks for saying hi. Our bookmarks are present because I've saved bookmarks. Bookmarks are stored in the memory of your machine. It is so incredibly important you save some. Not 2,000, I don't know how many are allowed, but let's say 20, 50, that's okay. Only because when you get 2,000, you scroll a little long time to find your bookmarks, okay? They are there. Created recipes, let's have a look. They're not there. Dynamic, changes, changes as you change it on the online site. Created collections, they are there. Okay, anything you've put in the collections, you've heard me say before, make sure you use bookmarks, make sure you use collections. That's because when the internet goes down for some reason or cookie Doo's doing maintenance or something goes on, sorry, the dog just slammed the front door, um, <laughs> you've got recipes. But maybe you've not done that. So then what do you do? Well, your Thermomix is incredibly clever. It actually keeps a record of your cooking and it's under recently cooked, which is down here in your menu. It says my recipes, excuse the reflection of the light, my week, recently cooked, uh, in there. Now again, it's hard to search. What do you do? Let me show you. On the top right hand corner of our screen of our TM6, there is a magnifying glass. I bet you don't use it. Well, we use it offline. Okay, so when I traveled in my caravan and I did not have internet, uh, this is what I used. Okay, now it has all of our created collection recipes individually, all of your, uh, any collection you've saved as a, a whole collection, all of those recipes, it has all of your recently cooked, so for eternity, I don't know how many of those are kept, but it's a very long time. It has all of your bookmarks. It actually has like a wealth of stuff. So I, it would be highly unlikely that you won't find your recipe here, unless it's a brand new recipe that you found yesterday. It's a new collection or new cookbook, a new recipe and, uh, you know, it's literally new to cookie dough and you've never done it before and you've never opened it on your, on your TM6 before. So I want to make this afternoon, um, I'm actually making chicken teriyaki, I think. Now, by the way, the online on my computer still works. Okay. Uh, Y-A-K-I. -I. You do have to know how to spell it because it's not connecting through properly you need to have it accurately done but here you go chicken teriyaki it's either in one of my collections it's in a recipe in a collection i've created or it's a, a bookmark or i've cooked it at some point in time in the history of this thermomix so i can click on that and you'll notice that screen back there was not as you would normally see it okay you notice it looked a little different uh if you have multiples up you'll see the difference uh, a little more but guess what there it is. Start cooking and off we go. Easy as that. So I thought I would stop my ice cream churning back here where I'm cooking the cover. I thought I'd come to you and show you right now as we speak when you've got this error at the top that says connection error. Don't go playing with your Wi-Fi. Don't go trying to change things. Cookie do in and out. It's not you. Okay. <laughs> it's not you. But that's how you use the Thermomix. Alternatively, your laptop, your iPad, your phone, your cookie do on there still works. So if you didn't by chance have it already in that memory of the machine for some reason, 
you've got it on your computer, sit it next to your, your Thermomix. It's not ideal. I get that. I really, like, I'm cooking the cover at the moment. I don't know where I put that down. There it is. Um, and I've got to do it manually, and I know that challenge, okay? <laughs> so it's not ideal, but if you're preparing for your week ahead, you're making batches of stuff for the so that your freezers and fridges are full so that you don't have to cook through the week uh, and you need to be cooking, then getting your computer out and doing it manually is your other option as well. But I hope you find this video helpful. Right now, as you see this video, share it with those around you. Uh, some of you may have seen threads in different Facebook groups about this issue. Can you put this video up? Tell people there's a way, okay, so that when they're now sitting there at 3 Eastern Standard Time, okay, and they're like, I can't cook dinner or I can't do this, maybe they can. So can you show them these videos? Share this video with those different pages and groups and say, hey, this is how you do it. Lisa's just showing you. This is how you do it. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. Take care in all you're doing. I'll be back next week with some more inspiration videos, helping you get more out of your Thermomix, uh, whether it's a TM31, TM5, TM6. I just hope you're loving it and using it to its potential. i got to get back, put the churner back on, uh, taking this cover, this beautiful ice cream um, meringue out to dinner tonight. I'm making the chicken teriyaki, a big batch of that. I have to go back and find it again now, <laughs> the recipe. But did you see how I did it? I'll just remind you. Little magnifying glass up the top. It remembered me. Yay. Clicked on it. Type it in. Click on it and it's there. Really easy. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your Sunday night. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.